Hello again. Uh, here I have a, uh, an example of how the instantaneous center of zero velocity or instantaneous center of rotation can be used to solve easily and quickly for problems involving general plane motion, combination of translation and rotation. So you notice that the motion of this bar as end A moves down and the other end uh, and B moves to the right is a combination of translation and rotation. Now, here we are given that velocity of A of this rod whose length is five meters as shown is uh, six meters per second down. So A is confined to move only vertically down and then that forces actually B to move to the right. So velocity of B would be like that. Now, what we want to determine at this instant at this instant, we want to find the following. Velocity of B, angular speed of the rod at this instant, and also velocity of the midpoint of the rod, velocity of G, using the IC method. Of course, there are other ways that we could do this. There is a method known as absolute motion. There is also a method which is called relative motion when we break the motion into combination of translation and rotation. But uh, for sure, IC method is the most, uh, the easiest and the most effective and quick way of solving a problem like this. So you guys recall that in other videos that we talked about the, uh, the location of IC. Uh, and in general, you need velocity of two points on the body. And in this case, we know velocity of A is down like this. And velocity of B has no choice but to move to the right. So... The, remember the method was to draw a perpendicular line to velocity of A at A. So that would be 90 degrees. And then to velocity of B at B. So that would be this guy. The point of intersection becomes the instantaneous center, which I'm going to call it uh, actually point C. Uh, which is the instantaneous center. Uh, so now, the, in order to visualize the motion, you could think as if this, this is like a triangular plate, like this. Imagine you have a triangular plate, and I would we extend the body, and this triangular plate is rotating about uh, the axis that passes through C. So we know, first of all, velocity of C is zero. So that's the, the way the instantaneous center is. It becomes the center of rotation. Now, if you wanted to find velocity of A, and we already know velocity of A is six meters per second. Velocity of A would be what? Velocity of A would be R omega. What is R? R is from the center of rotation C to the point A times omega. So therefore, if you solve for omega, omega is velocity of A divided by CA. And what is CA? CA clearly based on a 4, 3, 5 triangle is 3 meters. So this is 3 meters here, right? So if I take 6 and divide by 3, my omega is going to be 2 radians per second. And clearly that's going counterclockwise at this instant. Then I can go ahead, after I have determined omega, I can go ahead and find velocity of any point at this instant. So, for example, velocity of B is what I'm looking for. So that would be R omega. What is R? R now is from C to B. So velocity of B would be CB, which is 4 meters times 2 radians per second that I just determined. So that becomes 8 meters per second. And you could see velocity of B is horizontal and to the right. So now that brings us to, uh, let me actually move this. Uh, that brings us to velocity of G. What is velocity of G right here in the center? So the way we do that, uh, we connect from C to G to establish our radius. And velocity of G, let me actually erase this so I could finish the problem up here. So velocity of G is going to be equal to R omega 
but r this time is cg times omega and if you go ahead and try to find cg actually it turns out that cg this is one and a half and this is half of four two a two and a one and a half will give you a 2.5 actually for cg here so cg is 2.5 and omega is 2, so that gives you a 5 meters per second. So velocity of g would be 5 meters per second. What about the direction of it? The direction of velocity of g is going to be 90 degrees to the radius and in the direction of omega. So in this case, since this body is rotating about c and it's going counterclockwise, velocity of g should be like that. In this direction 90 degrees to omega and the magnitude as you could see is 5 meters per second thank you